Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my favorite beauty products from the month of January. The first product that I have right here to share with you guys is the Caudalie Grape Water. I've been using this grape water so much since I got it recently. This is a setting spray, but you can use it before you put on makeup, after you put on makeup, when you have no makeup on, just pretty much whenever you want your skin to look more dewy and more like hydrated and more natural. This is an amazing product to spray on your face. The thing that I like about this is that it calms your skin down like if you have breakouts or like stressed out skin. A lot of times like after I use like a exfoliators or peels I'll spray this on my face before I put makeup on and it kind of reduces all the redness and kind of makes my skin look a little bit more calmed down and not as like freaked out if you guys have not tried this yet I know for a fact you guys would love it this is my first bottle of it and I know that I already want to buy a second one and possibly a third one even though I haven't even finished my first one yet that's how much I already know that I love it I'm gonna go ahead and spray some on my face right now because I'm getting a little bit sweaty I love the way that this sprays out of the can too. I don't feel like it goes all in one direction. It like, it has a beautiful kind of like mist. Okay, so my next favorite product is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I got this like, I think two years ago and when I first started using it, I didn't like it because I didn't like the colors and I thought it was a little bit too heavy. Now, I don't know why I randomly started using it again, but I recently fell in love with it. I don't know what made me not like it the first time I used it, but I am literally obsessed with this concealer right now. It's only a few dollars. It is very, very, very full coverage, but I really enjoy the fact that it doesn't look like super heavy and cakey. I love that I can wear it under my eyes, on my face, like literally anywhere that I want to add a lot of coverage. And I know that a lot of people talk crap about the applicator, but honestly, I kind of like it. I like how it kind of slides so it doesn't make you put too much in like one area. You can like use this applicator to kind of smear it around. So my next favorite I just recently got, it's a Sephora Collection Solid Brush Cleanser. You guys, this is literally the exact same as a Beauty Blender Brush Cleanser, but like half the price. This works just as well. And one kind of benefit is that this has that little pink thingy right here so you can rub your brushes or your sponge on it. This just gets all the pigment out of your brushes. It makes your brushes look brand new again. You can use it to wash your beauty blender, your sponges, your brushes, like literally anything that you want to clean off and make look brand new. This will do the job. To be honest with you guys, I did not think I was going to like it because I love the beauty blender solid cleanser so much. I thought this was going to be like a cheaper alternative. But to be honest, it does perform like the exact same way as a beauty blender solid cleanser. I honestly like it kind of better because of this little sponge. Helps you get all the pigment out of your brushes and sponges. And speaking of brushes, my like literal all-time hands-down favorite foundation brush is still the Sigma F80. For a while I was using the Tarte Kabuki brush and I love that brush for foundation too, but I prefer this one a little bit better because it's a lot smaller. I feel like the Tarte one kind of blends my foundation around a little bit more and kind of makes it more like of a light to sheer coverage, but when you use this brush, I don't know what this brush does so amazingly, but I feel like it keeps all your pigment like where you put it and it just does such a really good job at blending stuff but keeping the coverage of it. This is such a freaking good brush. This is probably one of the first brushes I bought online like a couple years ago when I started doing makeup and I still use it to this day. It is one of my all-time favorite brushes that I own. My favorite mascara this month was honestly so easy to choose because there's only been like one or two that I've been obsessed with, but there's been one I've been wearing like a lot more, like literally every single day, and the other one I've only been wearing like when I film videos. And the mascara I've been obsessed with is the NARS Audacious Mascara. I am not gonna lie to you guys though, when I first used this like the first, I think two times, I honestly didn't think it was that great. I don't know what it was, but the formula was so wet, it was a little bit clumpy and kind of like crazy on my eyes. But after I let it kind of sit out for a little bit and dry, I don't know what happened to the texture, but it made it so much freaking better, you guys. Like literally every single day that I wear this people always will ask me what mascara I'm wearing I've been so happy with it okay so my next favorite is gonna be a lip product from Tarte and no it is not their liquid lipsticks I have not tried those yet I want to so bad but I don't know why I haven't my favorite from Tarte this month is the Tarte Cosmetics Energy Noir Lip Surgeons. This is a really, 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 really pretty berry lip gloss. But the cool thing about this lip gloss is that it pretty much gives you your natural like lip color, but berry. So what happens pretty much is you put this on your lips and it looks a little bit purple at first, but like as you wear it, it's gonna kind of customize to your pH level and kind of change into your own kind of customized berry color. I'm gonna do a little swatch on my hand so you guys can see it. But just keep in mind it's gonna look a little bit different on your lips because it's gonna adjust to your natural pH. That's why when you look at it in my hand, it's very like sheer and kind of hard to see, but I swear to you guys, when I put it on my lips, it looks just so freaking stunning. I've always loved Tarte's lip glosses, but I just love the fact how this gives you that natural tint of purple, but it's nothing dramatic, it's nothing like in your face, it's very kind of like natural, I have no makeup on, but my lips are just like healthy and I'm not dead. So besides that LA Girl concealer, my other favorite kind of like face product for the month is the Cover Effects 
custom coverage drops. I'm sure everybody already knows about these, but you guys, hold up. I'm gonna tell you something kind of crazy. The way that I use these, you guys are gonna like shit your pants. People usually always kind of mix this with their moisturizer or foundation, but lately I've been putting this on like literally all by itself as a foundation, and oh my god, it is perfect. It is seriously about the same coverage as Kat Von D's full coverage foundation where it's like, like I just said, full coverage, but it doesn't give you that super matte drying look. You need to try these because you get that same thing like a full coverage, but you get a natural, very soft skin finish. But if you guys wear this as a foundation, use a tiny, tiny bit because a little bit goes a long way. This is super, super, super concentrated and very full coverage. So if you do wear it as a foundation, start out with a little bit and blend it around. And then if you need more, add more, but just don't put too much on from the get-go because you might not like it at first, but it's just about using the correct amount. Okay, so the last two products that I wanna share with you guys are the same products, but two different colors. So I'm gonna share both of them. They are the Sephora Collection Retractable Waterproof Brow Pencil. These are freaking so underrated and so amazing. They perform honestly the exact same way as the Anastasia. The only difference I feel like is these have a little bit more of like a waxy texture, but for me personally, it kind of works a little bit better because it helps to kind of like lay down the eyebrow hair. And I know that when you look at these pencils, you're gonna think they're super weird because of the like spool on the other side but I promise you guys it's super weird at first but if you just try it and brush your eyebrows with it it actually makes it a little bit easier it's not a spoolie obviously it's pretty much just like a comb and you just comb your brows up but I've been using these a lot to just get like the shape of my eyebrow going then I've been using the dip brow to kind of fill it in and darken it and whatnot just for like an eyebrow pencil these are way more affordable than the Anastasia ones so if you guys love the Anastasia ones but like feel like you're wasting your money or you go through them too fast you need to go to the Sephora collection little section Choose a color and buy these. I think they're like $14, so they're a lot more affordable than the Anastasia ones. The only bummer about these, as opposed to the Anastasia ones, is these only have like, I want to say like six or seven like color choices when the Anastasia one has like literally every color you could think about for hair. This is just a little bit more like of a minimal selection, but still it gets the job done. So don't be picky. If you guys just want eyebrow pencils, go get the Sephora one and then let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So yeah, that is going to do it for my January favorites. I really want to thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick favorites video. If you guys have any requests on videos, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you guys are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.